we had one and a half million people uh, die, and then we had all of the people leaving Ireland to go to the shores of America. And the luck of the Irish kicked in. And the luck of the Irish is actually a bit of a misnomer. Lenin said, if you had the luck of the Irish, you'd be sorry and wish you were dead. That was John Lennon, by the way. <laughs> whose, pa- whose grandparents apparently, his grandfather apparently came from Dublin. But the Irish come over to America, and yes, they do hit the luck of the Irish, because just as they're coming over in droves, we have the American Civil War. About 35,000 Irish fought for the southern states in the American Civil War, in a number of different regiments. And one of the best soldiers on either side in the Civil War was General Patrick Cleburne, who fought for the Confederate side. He was from Ovens County Cork. He was killed in 1864 towards the latter part of the Civil War. But the most famous Irish regiment of all is the Fighting 69th, who were known as the Irish Brigade, who fought with valour at Chancellorsville, at Gettysburg, at Antietam, and most famously at all, and most famously of all, at, the, at Fredericksburg, December 1862, when they tried to attack the Confederate defences at Marius Height. Six times did the Irish Brigade attack our defences under withering fire that mowed down men like corn before a sickle. Six times did they rush to their death. General Robert E. Lee said, Never were men so brave, though totally routed. They reaped harvests of glory. The attack of the Irish Brigade was so brilliant that it excited these cheers of my officers and men. And General Hill exclaimed, there's that damned green flag again. General George Pickett, he of the famous Pickett's Brigade in charge of the Gettysburg, said, writing to his fiancée, the attack of the Irish Brigade was brilliant beyond description. Well, my darling, we forgot they were our enemy and our soldiers raised hearty cheers at their fearlessness. But once again, the harp of Innisfail played sad notes because repulsing the Irish Brigade was the 24th Georgia Infantry, led by and mustered by Colonel Robert Macmillan from Antrim. Three-fourths of the men under my command were of Irish descent, and they knew that the brave men who were dying in front of them were from our kindred spirits from the land across the sea. When one by one the stars came out that night, southern eyes cried tears for the gallant Irish dead. But the Irish survived the Civil War, and the Irish actually have a great reputation and history in American military history. Only 19 people have won two Congressional Medals of Honor. Two of them are Irish. And indeed, the General Custer 7 Cavalry Uh, which was uh, annihilated at the Little Bighorn, about 25% of his soldiers were Irish-born, including Captain Miles Keogh from County Carlow, who had fought in the Civil War. (laughs) 